the law of impartation. This is one of the mysteries of the kingdom that controls the supernatural. This is one of the keys that can turn ordinary people into signs and wonders. Now, according to God's system of operation, please listen. Men on earth cannot achieve the purposes of God in the strength of the flesh. The Bible clearly tells us that the flesh, the body, is limited. Limited in various ways. Limited because men are not omnipotent. Limited because men are not omniscient. Are we together? Yes. And limited because men are not omnipresent. These are the qualities God did not share with man. So even though we have dominion, our dominion is shared dominion. We depend on the source, like the moon gets its light from the sun. Are we together now? Yes. So the limitation, not having these qualities, has a side effect. We cannot be efficient enough to produce God's dimension of results on the strength of the flesh. And so he created a system to remedy it. The name of that system is what we call grace. Grace is not about salvation. Grace is not even just about favor. Grace is the name given to every good and perfect gift that comes from above, given to the saints, but accessed only through the office of the Christ. It is called grace. So mercy is grace. Anointing is grace. Faith is grace. Every spiritual quality that resides in the Christ and given to the saints only through the office of the person, Jesus Christ, is called grace. Are we together? So when you find people who begin to manifest certain dimensions of exploits, among the many things that are at work in their lives are the levels and the dimensions, like Pastor would say, of the graces at work in them. You can know the grace upon you by the physical possibilities that recycle around your space. And you can know when it grows. Because everything on earth is truly a report card. It is speaking to you. Your challenges are speaking to you. Your results are speaking to you. They continue to tell you the kind of grace that is upon your life. Hoping they will change is a waste of time. You must introduce into your life the grace. Grace is like currency. Everything can be bought. It just depends on how much you have. Just because you are anointed does not mean you, it can purchase every spiritual reality. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth not that he was anointed look at the extent if I have a thousand dollars it can buy me something some things in Port Harcourt. but if I'm looking for a car most likely a thousand dollars will not buy a car not because it is not money it is not money enough to purchase that are we together now so when the Bible says grace and peace be multiplied, he knows that you will confront realities in your life that your current level of grace cannot obtain it. Please follow me carefully. Now the way God remedies for this is not by anointing everyone. That's not what he does. He knows the dimensions of him that are required for victory on earth. So the way he does it is that the moment he sees Israel in need of that grace, he finds Jacob, a man, and he enters a personal covenant with that man through the sacrifice of alignment, and he supplies a dimension of his grace upon that man for the sake of those who are calling. Are we together? Every time you call him for that grace, he will refer you to that man as the career of that possibility and for as long as that person is alive you will never obtain that grace ignoring that covenant please understand this i want to show you a very deep mystery paul has an encounter with jesus 
and you will think that everything he needed for ministry will be given by Jesus directly. Jesus is talking to him and refers him back to a man to continue his growth process. So, men become spiritual systems on account of this covenant that they have with God. So, if it is the grace for faith, there is a man on earth today who has entered that covenant with God. And for as long as he's alive, you will not ignore him and walk in that level of faith. So pick any man of faith from anywhere in the world. It will still be traced back to that spiritual system of administering faith. This is not human worship. I'm showing you a very powerful mystery. There is no man on earth today who truly works in the healing ministry who ignores Benny Hinn. Because currently on earth now, he's not just a human being. He is the spiritual system that is responsible through partnership with the Holy Spirit for administering that grace. So no matter how God trains you, eventually he will create a path. If he wants to bless you, no matter what dealing you have in the secret place, he must make your path to cross. There are men like that. The Bible says there are bodies terrestrial. And there are bodies celestial that even among the stars one differed from another in glory until Reinhard Bonke died he was the spiritual system that represented evangelism are you seeing that now there was no territory that rejected him and that grace came upon him from Billy Graham. Many of you may not know, Billy Graham is one of the only ministers that preached in North Korea. We ignore these truths and we continue to recycle pain and limitation and mediocrity in our lives. When Jesus was born, watch this. You've heard me say it, Pastor, Jesus was under a closed heaven by himself. For 30 years, your Jesus, the Logos of God, could not open his own heavens until he traced a man called John, the prophet. Watch this. Jesus, you thought because he was the Lamb of God, his heavens would be open. The Father was watching because there was an ordinance that must be fulfilled. It's amazing how strict the realm of the Spirit is. For one violation of spiritual order, you, will, you can pay for years. This is why enlightenment is powerful. So Jesus looks for John. And when John saw him, a code was given to John in the wilderness. Every time John baptized, he looked up. The heavens did not open. He said, go away. John was not just a Baptist. He was identifying. He was looking for someone. That's why baptism stopped the moment he met Jesus. There's no record of him baptizing anyone. Now watch this, please. Follow me. John did not just go around baptizing. No. He was using it as a spiritual strategy to look for someone. So Jesus comes and he says, Behold the Lamb that takes away the sins of the world. Jesus would have said, Wow, you are really a sharp prophet. I applaud your discernment. Now G John is standing there, pastor. And John said, I am not worthy even to untie the latchet of your shoes. And Jesus makes a very profound statement. Suffer it to be so. You want to destroy my ministry if I do not submit to what you represent. Because until I came, you are the one giving the keys to this place. And not even me can violate what you represent. Watch this. And John picks Jesus, dips him in water brings him out and your bible says and the heavens open and god spoke and said now this is my beloved son what was he before the bible never called him son until that happened satan was not even interested in him when he failed at birth he left him but when that proclamation happened, the Bible says his heavens are opened. Hmm. 
may God deliver the body of Christ from ignorance. I show you why many well-meaning people are under closed heavens. Many sincere prayer warriors. People who love Jesus with all their hearts. Let me tell you the truth. I'm going to make a few statements. I pray it does not offend you. I will explain myself and when you listen later, you will understand. But in the name of Jesus, I want you to find a way of believing this. All men are equal in Christ, but all men are not equal. This is not human worship. I'm not teaching this nonsense people do around. Believe me. I'm saying by reason of the sacrifice of alignment, there are men who have entered a covenant with God. Not Old and New Testament. No. They have become the administrators of certain spiritual possibilities on earth and within territories. Are we together now? House on the Rock as a, a spiritual institution has a covenant with God that has released a dimension of possibility, excellence and leadership to the body of Christ. In truth, no matter how you want to be excellent, if God wants to help you, He will bring you to contact that grace. It's an ordinance. There are people who started prospering before they knew anything about finances. They didn't even know why. They were under a grace that was already, they were drinking from that possibility before they started learning the laws. He sent a word to Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. It's a mystery. He does not send a word to Israel. No, he sends it to Jacob, but he sees Israel in Jacob. Are we together now? Kenneth Copeland today on earth is God's spiritual system of administering faith. There is a dimension of lifting that either through his teaching or through a direct impartation, that supply of the spirit must come to him. Women were designed to be gates in the spirit. Anything you are doing at a global level, if a woman does not support you, this looks like error. And many ignorant people will not understand and they will begin to speak. If a woman is not introduced into your space, you will be very surprised. When Satan came, he didn't go to Adam. He went straight to the woman. There was something he knew. That's why till today he's still disturbing the bride of Christ. Unfortunately, you are it. So he continues to disturb you because you have assumed the posture of the bride of Christ. When Jesus resurrected, the first person to announce his resurrection was a woman because women are gates. Are we together? Yes, sir. Even physically, when men cry, the governments just leave them alone and fix a date to meet them one day. But when women cry and move around, the government now pays attention and says, well, What are you saying? What exactly is it? There's nothing called wailing men in the Bible, but there are wailing women. That when they cry unto God, there is something. Listen, listen, listen. Impartation is a law that transfers spiritual possibilities to men, to institutions, and to territories. Please pay attention. God hides his anointing in men. He hides his anointing in institutions. This is very powerful. He hides his anointings even in physical territories. There are territories on earth today. You may argue it, but it's true. These territories have a covenant with God. There are certain spiritual possibilities that happen to men just stepping their feet within those territories. It is true. There are institutions today that carry a certain dimension of God's grace. If God wants to help you, He will bring you in contact with those institutions. But for this impartation, there are men. It is true. The ability to discern these men and the graces that they carry is real discernment. 
and it will open you up to a world of power and a world of possibility the sea always had the ability to divide but nobody was carrying the grace that will make it obedient so the sea looked like it was disobedient until elijah came are we together now if the sea never parted we will write a book and say seas don't part be careful when your experience concludes certain dimensions of god because there are graces sent to trivialize what you call mountain every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it challenges are not generic please find a way of believing this sir the bible says saul the son of kish lost his donkey the father's donkey and for three days they kept going around searching for that donkey and the donkey could not have the discernment to go back home are we together but as soon as they meet this being called samuel they didn't even tell him what was wrong the moment there was an eye contact the donkey started going back home what did the donkey see read your bible samuel told them he said we came and said don't talk to me about donkey there are more serious issues the donkey will go back home just because a man met a man and god himself has respect for that system when god rejected saul as king he would have anointed david to be the next king but saul the bridge for that impartation was still negotiating i mean samuel was still negotiating for saul and you thought god would say no i am god i push you aside please bring another prophet god had to come down himself and meet samuel and explain things he said how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king you are delaying another man's rising go to the house of jesse david would have been having dreams of the throne but a man not a demon was stopping his rising because he was the one giving that prophetic office are we blessed